how you play the nuclear fusion game. Here's how you set up your game board. I've got my protons and my neutrons all spread out around the board. Today I'm going to use pink for protons and green for neutrons. I've got my steely that I checked out um, on there and it's got one proton. So on my recording sheet I would go ahead and write down that I have one proton. I'm going to go ahead and roll my dice and as I roll my dice I am going to get a number. Let's say it's five. Okay, so this time I rolled a five. So I would write down my roll, so that way if I find an error later, I can go back and fix it, okay? Then what I'm going to reference is the back of the instruction sheet. So the back of the instruction sheet looks like this. And what we see is where it says a, five, a roll of a 5 or a 6 means I have to absorb a neutron. So I'm going to absorb a neutron, add one neutron to your nucleus, okay? And so what I'm going to do is just move a green uh, nucleus to that, or a green neutron to my nucleus. Then I'm going to double check and make sure that atom actually exists. So here I have my chart of my nucleotides. Uh, my protons go up the left-hand side. My neutrons go along the bottom. So I have one proton and I have one neutron. So I've made a hydrogen 2 atom and I'm nice and stable. So that means that, that turn was successful to me. What we are trying to do is race our partner to get to this top row. Anywhere on this top row and you win. Okay, anywhere on the top row you win. So what that resulted in was I added a neutron. So now I have one proton and uh, one neutron. So then my partner gets a turn and play would continue. So let's say that my next roll um, that I get, uh, I'm going to go ahead and roll my dice, and let's say I get uh, an 11. So my roll now is an 11, and on my 11 I'm going to do, so I come back to this sheet and I do helium fusion. Add two protons and two neutrons. So here, I would add two protons and two neutrons. Okay, so now I have a total of three and three. Got to double check and make sure it exists. I've got three protons. I've got three neutrons. I'm still at lithium six, so I'm good. Okay, um, so I get to keep going. So I didn't lose a turn. Plus three protons, plus three neutrons, uh, excuse me, two. And two. So I end up with three protons and three neutrons. Eventually, on your recording sheet, you might get something that says, or you might roll a seven or an eight, a radioactive decay. So let's say I had built an atom that landed me here. I had three protons, but I only had two neutrons. So I'm going to take away one of my neutrons for this example. So I have three protons, two neutrons. Well, that puts me right here on this sheet. I've got a lithium-5 with a yellow triangle. So if I'm on that yellow triangle and I roll a 7 or an 8, I have to look and see what kind of radioactive decay I go through. I would remove one proton, so I would have to take away a pink. Now, I've got two protons, two neutrons, and I should be a stable atom after any type of radioactive decay. So I've got two protons, two neutrons, I'm helium-4. You only have to do nuclear decay if you land on one of these colored symbols. The black boxes are the best place to be. Those are where you're going to be most stable. Any white spaces, if you make a rule that puts you in a white space, that's an atom that cannot exist, and so it's like losing a turn. You would skip a turn. The most exciting rule is if you get a 2 or a 12. That's bombardment. And with bombardment, you have a bombardment box in the classroom. You're going to hold your nucleus and your opponent's nucleus uh, above the bombardment box. And it should be a height below your chin. And you're going to drop the nuclei one at a time into the box and see what happens. Pretty much things are going to explode and go place and go all over inside the box. Whatever sticks to the silver steely, you get to keep. Whatever falls off goes back into your nebula area on your game board.
Um, sometimes be strategic about that. If you're, if you're winning, you may not want to bombard. If your opponent's winning, you may want to bombard. Again, the overall objective of the game is to get all the way to this top row, somewhere along that oxygen row, and you win. One last note. We only gave you 15 blanks on your recording sheet on purpose. If you go longer than 15 rounds, you are probably going to take more than a mod, and we don't want that in, we don't want to take your time. We think you get it. If you need to keep going, you're welcome to keep playing, but um, we don't think it's probably necessary for the idea of the game. You'll probably be able to answer the questions. Once you have your game played and your questions answered, make sure your instructor checks it off. All right, good luck building oxygen and happy.